Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, and um, it is the day after Christmas, and I am getting myself ready for my workout. <laughs> so rather than waiting till the new year and taking the week off, I thought I'm going to go get started <laughs> and uh, get started with my, my routine. So get back on track. It's been a while. Um, I've been getting workouts in but only sporadically. So I am gonna make them a priority now. Rather than fitting them in when, when it works out, I'm gonna actually make them the priority, which is making me a priority. I am making myself a priority. That's how you do it. You don't just throw in a workout here and there when you can fit it in. You have to Schedule the rest of your life around your workouts and around your self-care if you really want to be strong and if you're really serious about your own self-care. And just think about that. Without you, nothing else will work in your life. So you've got to make yourself a priority. And I don't always do that. I'm actually pretty crummy at it, especially during the holidays, because that's when the family comes and you want to be there for everyone else. I get it, because I do too. But I've decided... I let myself off the hook for a couple of weeks and now I'm back on. I'm going to hold myself accountable. So my focus is drinking water, making sure I'm hydrated, getting my supplements, getting my workout, and that's going to be my priority and everything else will get scheduled around that. So uh, I have all these Christmas bins behind me. I will get to those, but right now I'm focusing on my workout. So I am going to do um, shoulders and legs today. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill, shoulders and legs today. And I'm going to be doing uh, a three, uh, three split workouts a week. So I'll do shoulders and legs one day, back and biceps another day, and chest and triceps another day. And then Every day I'll do the abs on the workout days. And for now, that's how I'm going to go through the next couple of weeks. And I did have a request to um, go through the bins and declutter my Christmas bins. And maybe that would help you. So I'll be sharing some of that in upcoming videos. And then John and I are going to run some food over to a family member. And yep, that's what's going on today. So I finished a workout, my first workout after Christmas. So I did uh, shoulders and legs and abs and 30 minutes of cardio. So I feel really good. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes. Not bad. And um, John went over to the neighbors, uh, the refrigerator stopped working. So he went over to see if he could help with that. And I thought, you know what? I never did finish up the advent calendar. I am not good with advent calendars. We did finish the cheese advent calendar. And I think that video already went out or it will go out. And um, yeah, we did discover a surprise about that calendar. Anyway, I've talked about that. We did finish the cheese advent, but I never did get through all of these. I feel like I, I probably won't do these anymore um, because, you know, I mean, they're cute and all, but you know, it's just, this one is fun. And, but it's, let me just, let me just finish it and I'll show you. I think we ended on, there were still like four days left. Let me just get this all together and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all done. All right. So then on, on the 25th, you finally pull it up and his wings are outstretched. His eyes are fully opened. And I mean, it was fun. It was kind of fun. So, all right, well, late, better late than never, right? Um, we're going to run over, uh, drop off some food to our friends and our, well, family member. And I don't know what else we're doing today, but I feel good. At least I got a workout in. I didn't want to wait till the new year. I wanted to really get a jump start on cleaning up my diet, getting a head start. So, uh, all said and done, I'm up about, honestly, about seven, almost eight pounds now. No, seven pounds from where I'd like to be. So, you know, there's that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Um, there's more to life than the numbers on the scale, right? 
but I am going to uh, be sharing that throughout my days, um, doing a little bit of decluttering coming up and just getting the house back in order after the holidays. But I'll leave the tree up and some of our Christmas decor probably uh, up past the new year because, you know, we like to have it up for the new year and then I'll slowly begin to take it down. So, all right, guys, well, we'll see what's, what else we're going to be doing today. John's just running into the little store here to pick up a couple of things. Roscoe and Don and I just went over to drop off some food to uh, to a friend. So I've got the radios on and I would turn them off, but I don't know how. <laughs> so I'll just be quick. Um, we just drove by uh, along our interstate and I, I've never seen this. I, I, had, I just... You know, usually when I'm driving down the interstate, I'm not looking, right? Like, I'm paying attention to uh, where I'm driving. I'm not looking side to side. And in the trees near uh, near uh, a, a lake that we have, there's a huge tent city. Like, I, I've never seen I don't know. It's probably been there forever. But I just got a close-up look of it because John was driving. And... It just went on and on and on, and tent after tent, and garbage, and just, um, you know, I'm, you know, it's just part of life, and I, I'm trying to be mindful of that as we're going through Christmas and the holiday season, this kind of new reality that we're living in. It really is, uh, just, it's heart wrenching, and it's. You know, and, and yeah, it's really easy to try to, like, to dismiss it and just go on. But it's right there, and I'm just not the type of person that can just go on with life when all of this these things are happening around me uh, without saying something. So I'm just, you know, every now and then I just, I just pop in and share stuff like that because it is really, you know, I think we all are concerned, you know. What do we do about it? I don't know. Apparently nobody does because we're not handling it. So anyway, all right. I'm gonna. Uh, oh my goodness, this guy's just back, 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 back. Oh god. Oh lordy, lordy. Okay. Oh my gosh, his door's open and he's backing up. I don't understand. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna get my wits about me. <laughs> this guy had his door open. He's driving and he's backing up. Okay, well. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get my. So interesting, though. Life is, is just interesting. Roscoe's waiting for Dad. He's coming. Don't worry. He's coming. Well, thank you so much for being here, for hanging out with me, and I hope you're doing well. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to get started on just getting yourself, you know, you don't have to wait till the new year to start that fitness, getting back on track, right? It's a lifestyle change. It really is. It's what you do every day uh, on a regular basis. It's going to make a difference. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people will be at the gym January 1st. I don't know about the first, but the second, third, uh, with those resolutions. And that's always fun to see everybody come out and do that. I can't wait to go back to Planet Fitness and see all the new faces. But for now, um, don't wait till that. I mean, you can get started today. <laughs> Make one little change. Drink enough water. Maybe get on the treadmill. Go for a walk. Um, today is the first day of the rest of your life, as cliche as that may seem. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.